So Orica reached out and very kindly sent me their 10 in 1 docking station to test out with the ROG Ally. And there were three big questions I had going into this, which are what interface it supports, does a micro SD card work with the dock and Ally together? And the biggest one, which is does it allow 30W turbo mode when plugged in that BIOS 323 now allows? Plus we'll look at three key tips when docking the Ally to a TV or monitor, including one that quite a few of us Ally owners forget to do. So let's dive straight in and first impressions of the Oroco 10 in 1 is that it's well made as well as being pleasingly stiff and rigid. That's what she said. So let's start with the interfaces. It's a USB type C that plugs into our Ally at the end and along the first side is a PD pass through to plug our Ally power cable in that supports up to 100 watts. A HDMI port that supports 4K at 30 hertz. A VGA port that supports 1080p at 60Hz and finally a 1GB Ethernet port. There's no ports at the end so on the other side we have a micro SD slot, a normal SD slot, three USB type A ports that all support 5GB per second and finally a 3.5mm headphone jack. I do want to point out how the aluminium alloy really does make it feel like a more premium docking station and a nice touch is the blue light on the front that lights up when power is plugged in. But will it hit that 30 watt turbo mode when plugged in? Well, we'll find out in a moment. Next, let's test out the SD card. I'm like 39% of you and are hesitant to use the Ally's SD card slot. So let's put in a SD card into the Oroco 10 in 1 and see if the Ally recognizes it. By the way, a new video releasing shortly will address the SD card situation that you do not want to miss. So make sure you're subscribed, enable notifications and slap that like button. You guys rock. Michael Cole, if you take one more step towards that computer, the rock will get out of here and slap the taste so far out of your mouth you'll never get it back. So for some reason the SD card isn't appearing in the devices and drives area. I did make sure the micro SD was in the slot and secure, so I don't know why it's not available to select. Uh, any guesses? When I put the SD card directly into the Ally, it came up with an error message saying that Windows was unable to complete the formatting. So maybe there's a problem with the SD card perhaps. If any of you great viewers have any idea how to solve this, then please let us know in the comments. And finally, let's see if 30 watt turbo mode will be unlocked. The latest 323 BIOS adds 30 watt TDP support for third party chargers and docks. However, this is not guaranteed as my old Sabrent dock would not unlock that 30 watts turbo mode when plugged into the Ally's official power adapter. This is the moment of truth. Let's plug the Oroco 10 in one into the Ally, the official Ally power adapter into the PD slot. And yes, we can see that the 30 watt turbo mode is available using this dock. Awesome job, Oroco, phew. So if you're looking for a docking station to use with the Ally, then the Oroco 10 in one is a great choice, especially as it supports 30 watts TDP, which is crucial. The link is in the description. Finally, let's look at three quick tips for docking to a TV or monitor. And this is a response to one of our great viewers, Dan Reeves, who requested this. Thanks, Dan. Tip one is to disable embedded controller so the Ally doesn't keep defaults into the inbuilt controls when you're using your Xbox or whatever controller you're using. Tip two is to hold down the rear M1 button and press X to adjust display settings between the Ally and your TV or monitor. And finally for tip three is to set your TV to game mode to minimize potential latency issues. Let us know your thoughts of the Oroco 10 in 1 docking station and also share your tips for docking to a TV or monitor in the comments below. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I love to share this awesome quote. 
Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will begin to change. There's so much negativity on social media and sometimes from our friends and family. So let's try our best to remain positive and to stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to find out if I was wrong about my initial impression of the Lenovo Legion Go. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.